Welcome to the Lock Factory. It's your host, Laws in the building. It's me. It's Aaron. We eight for ten on the season. If you if you if you did money lines on these games, if you picked the spreads with, that we gave you in the description, so you can go back and check the receipts. You cashed out, though. Aaron, I tell them every week, it's not a lot unless you cash out, though. You gotta cash out. Then it's a lot. All these other jokers talking about, oh yeah, come. You know, we got the picks for you, boo boo. They don't have receipts. They picking 50-50. They, they, they got simulators. They doing all this analysis. They digging, <laughs> digging, digging, trying to figure out. It just come natural, though. Some Bama's got a gift. Some Bama's a dumb. <laughs> all right, lock these in, though. Dallas Cowboys at the New York Giants. This is Thursday night game. Dallas' favorite, minus five. Giants coming off a win versus the Browns. Dallas coming off a loss versus the Ravens. Who are you going with? It's in New York. It's a divisional matchup. I got Dallas to cover. I got Dallas as well. I got Dallas as well. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers at the Indianapolis Colts. Colts are at home. And Colts are underdogs at home, plus one and a half points. Pittsburgh Ooh. has a, has a uh, has an injury to their, to their team. I think the linebacker got hurt for their squad. Um, but yeah, I'm going. I'm going with Pittsburgh. Yeah, until they lose, I'm riding with Pittsburgh from now. On. Yeah, Pittsburgh. I don't know when's the last time they've been four and zero, but this is an opportunity for them to go four and zero. Um, and I I think they can. I think defensively, they're just going to put pressure on it in the Colts in a way that they they're not they're not accustomed to. Uh, so I got that. I got Pittsburgh as well. Minnesota Vikings at the Green Bay Packers. Green Bay Packers are minus two and a half at home versus Minnesota. Potentially, Jordan Love returns. Uh, Malik Willis has played the last two games, and he's been solid. He's been solid. Not haven't really turned the ball over much. They've done a run heavy game style. Two and uh, one. Yeah, Minnesota. We talked about them on the show. Just uh, how how stifling their defense is. Um, I, I'm inclined to go with Minnesota plus the two and a half. Yeah. I'm going to go out in the limit and say Jordan Love is not going to play this week. Okay. Uh, Malik Willis is going to play. And right now, Brian Flores is, is defensive yeah. Jesus and yeah. <laughs> whatever he touched turned to gold. So, he got um, <laughs> yeah, give me, give me the, uh, Minnesota Vikings. And I'm inclined yeah. to say this is a lot this week. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to take the Vikings, uh, as well. Uh, right now they have them at plus two and a half for the Minnesota. I probably tease that up to three and a half, just to just to be safe. Uh, Jacksonville Jaguars at the Houston Texans. This joint is just hey, Houston is favorite minus six. This is just a bad. After that ass <laughs> it's just a bad matchup for Jacksonville coming off of a game where they got whooped, and Houston got whooped too. So they're not going to come into this joint almost like. Sleeping on Jacksonville because they just got whooped themselves. So and it's a division game. So yeah. Yeah. So I, I see Houston. I see Houston whooping these Bamas. And Jacksonville really doesn't have a pass rush, dog. Right. Like they can't I, do what uh what Minnesota did. Yeah. So um I I'm I'm taking Houston minus the six. Houston. All right. New Orleans Saints at the Atlanta Falcons. Falcons are favored minus one. Huh? Oh yeah. In Atlanta. Oh, yeah. This is a lot. Give me the Saints. I am taking the Saints as well <laughs> uh, to win, to cover, all of the above. Uh, Los Angeles Rams at the Chicago Bears. Bears are favored minus one and a half. I'm going to take the Bears. <sighs> the, LA, the L.A. Rams secondary, it might be the worst secondary next to ours in the league. <laughs> like this secondary is bad. And they just happened to score more points than San Francisco last week. But it was penalties. It was Bama's getting, like, they let Juwan Jen Like I said, Juwan Jennings, to me, is a B-level wide receiver. This Bama was looking like prime Randy last week versus that secondary. So I think with the weapons that Chicago has, they should. But I, I don't know. I, I feel like they want Caleb Williams to be something that he's not, and that's actually going to impair. I, I like L.A. in this one. I like L.A. 
Um, I think Chicago definitely can win, but I just, I just think, I just trust McVay and and their coaching staff a little bit more than I trust Chicago and their coaching staff. Uh, Philadelphia Eagles at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Philly's favorite minus two and a half. It's in Tampa. Tampa laid an egg last week, and they're back again playing against Philly, who edged out a a really gutty win um, against uh, uh, I, what I thought in the Saints was a good a good football team. So um, I like the Philadelphia Eagles in this one minus the two and a half. Um, Baker 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 regressed in the last game, but I I think that was more circumstantial than it just was. Yeah, I'm. I haven't liked what I've seen from Philly so far. Uh, is AJ Brown supposed to play this week, or he's, he's still out? I don't know. That's that's a that's a question mark right now. For me, if AJ Brown doesn't play, I'm going Tampa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I'm inclined to do the same. AJ Brown is a big part of that that offense, and you can just see like they're just not as explosive. And I think Devontae Smith got injured in the game versus the Saints, and they just, I mean, he's like the entire toughness of the team. Like when he's not there. It just feels like there's a little bit of softness, and it, it probably mm-hmm. comes from the head coach because mm-hmm. Nick, Nick Sirianni, I think his days are numbered regardless of what mm-hmm. happens this season. But um, it, it just – something is just disjointed that they can't figure out, and it's been going on for like a season and a half. Mm-hmm. Yeah, agreed. Uh, then you got Cincinnati Bengals at the Carolina Panthers, Cincinnati's favorite minus four and a half. Uh, I mean, they, they're on three, so – I'm gonna go with the the on three team in Cincinnati. Carolina's one and three, a one and two. What's the spread again? Four and a half in favor of Cincinnati. It's in Carolina. Uh, I'm gonna go Cincinnati. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna go Cincinnati as well. If they lose this game, heads need to start rolling over there too. <laughs> oh and four is unacceptable when you got a top five quarterback. Yeah, nah, that's a fact. Uh, Denver Broncos at the New York Jets. Jets are favorite minus seven and a half. Um, I don't like the Jets with these big, these large spreads. Yeah, you can tell they're baiting the uh, Yeah, so I, 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 I would be inclined to take Denver. Not because I think Denver's going to win, but I just think seven and a half is a large spread for, for the Jets. Um, you know, no, I mean, J- Jets beat a... They played this past week. What did Jets play? They played on Thursday night. They played the. Okay. They played. Um, they played not Tennessee. Not was it Miami? The Jets played. This is the way to see it. All right, <laughs> Monday night, Jets played the Patriots. Okay. Yeah. So I. I yeah, I, mm, I don't. Yeah, I, I, I'll take Denver. I'll take Denver to cover. I'm going to take the Jets. Okay. Because I don't like Sean Payton or Bo Nick. Okay. <laughs> Washington Commanders at Arizona. Arizona's favorite minus four, Aaron. I'm going to go Arizona. I, I don't even want to pick this game, bro. Because... Cause, it's, this is this game. I'm conflicted. My heart and my mind fighting against one another. My mind say Arizona's gonna win this joint. My heart say, but hold on a minute. <laughs> we got a we got one. We got a ringer. Yeah. So the element that I think we need to keep in mind from that Cincinnati game is their two defensive tackles, starting defensive tackles, did not play. Um, so even though Mr. Tiptoe Bandit 2.1 yards per carry didn't get a whole bunch of yardage, um, they weren't able to get pressure on Jaden the way I think other most other teams will. Mm-hmm. Um, Eckler, when he was in there, he was averaging, I think, like five yards. Six, mm-hmm. No, it was like 10 yards a carry. I think he had, mm-hmm. what was it 10 carries for 50? No, it was like something like five carries for like 55 mm-hmm. yards, something like that. So, I, yeah. So, um, I don't think that that scenario is going to replicate itself against the Arizona Cardinals. And they have a mobile quarterback um, that these slow DNs and this slow defense is going to struggle with. Um, 
So Kyler Murray is going to be able to, the same way Baker was week one, not necessarily run for 70 yards for a touchdown, but create two or three more seconds mm-hmm. um, to throw the ball downfield to Marvin Harrison Jr. or whoever else to get some big plays. So I just think mm-hmm. it's going to be hard for them to run. Now, Jade might go score 38 again, and then that's a different mm-hmm. conversation. But I just don't see that being the case. Um, this yeah, week. yeah, nah, neither do I. Uh, I I'm going to go with Arizona, sadly. Uh, New England Patriots. At the San Francisco 49ers. 49ers are favorite minus 10 and a half. If they do like win, it. though, they're making the playoffs. Like, let's add that to the last piece. But um I don't like 10 and a half. I, I'm I'm gonna go with New England to cover. I think San Francisco will win. I'm gonna go San Fran to cover the 10 and a half. Okay. I think the Patriots are gonna struggle to score. Okay. All right. Cleveland Browns at the Las Vegas Raiders. Cleveland uh, favorite minus one. I'm gonna go Cleveland. I'm gonna go Raiders. It's Raiders that are at home. Um, that's the only reason. Uh Kansas City Chiefs at the LA Chargers. Chiefs are favorite minus seven and a half. Uh if there's no Justin Herbert, I'm going with Kansas City. Agreed. But if Herbert plays, I'm gonna go Chargers. Okay. Buffalo Bills at the Baltimore Ravens. This is going to be a good one. Ravens are favorite minus one at home. I'm going to go Ravens. This is a game that the Ravens have to win. And I think I think they showed a, a clip where, where, you know, one of the players was like on Instagram live and he was like interviewing uh, Lamar Jackson after the game. And Lamar was like, you know, like, yeah, we got to win. He was, like, he was just like, I mean – we need. We don't need to be on live. We need to be focused on the next game, and I like that mentality because you do need to be focused on this next game because this journey is going to be a good one. Uh, I like Buffalo. I like Buffalo in that one. Uh, Tennessee Titans. We got two Monday Lock. night games. Lock. I love the two Monday night joints. That Lock. joint's sweet. They need to do two Monday night or every every week throughout the season. Lock. Tennessee Titans at the Miami Dolphins. Tennessee is favorite minus one. Lock. Give me the Dolphins. Okay. Dolphins to beat Tennessee. All right. Seattle Seahawks at the Detroit Lions. Lions are favorite minus four and a half. Lock. Give me Seattle. Mm, Okay. All right. So you're the two locks up for Monday night. Seattle and Miami. And then the other lock was. It was two more, should have been. Yeah, let's see. It's. I mean, we took. I'm taking Pittsburgh over Indy, Minnesota over Green Bay, Houston over was, Jackson. I think the Minnesota I had is a lock. Okay. Minnesota over Green Bay, Jacksonville over Houston, New Orleans at Atlanta. That's a lot. That's the lot. That's the these over unders looking like. Uh, so D- Dallas and New York is at 43 and a half. Pitt and Indy's at 39 and a half. That sounds that looks about right. Green Bay and Minnesota is at 43 and a half. Jacksonville and Houston is at 46. New Orleans, Atlanta is at 43. Chicago and Rams is at 40. That could probably go over. Philly and Tampa Bay is at 46. Cincy and Carolina is at 47 and a half. Denver, New York Jets is at 38 and a half. Washington and Arizona is at 49 and a half. Hey. Hey, I would I would go with the under on that dream. Uh, New England and San Francisco is at 40. Cleveland and Las Vegas is at 39. Kansas City and Chargers is at 39 and a half. Buffalo and Baltimore's at 46. Tennessee and Miami's at 37 and a half. Seattle's at Seattle and Detroit's at 48. I might be trying to take the over in that uh Kansas City. Starting with a three, you crazy. They might put up 39 by themselves. Yeah, um, Kansas City, yeah, 39 and a half. Especially if Herbert doesn't play. So I might I might be inclined to take the over in that game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, those over and unders is a little, a little tricky. 
Yeah, that's, that's better that's, though with the spread as the year progresses on. You can yeah, see them they, tight. They always do though, as you know, they get because they got all the access to all the information, all the algorithm. Anything that these Bama's doing on Ch- Chat GPT, these Bama's got <laughs> times <laughs> over though. Like they got the best minds in the sport, and they got all the information. And they got Bama's working, dog. You saw, uh, what's his name, James Cook, just just go in for one play, dive down on the floor, and lose a yard, and then be under 39, and then sub himself out? Like, dog, it's a dirty game, bro. Dirty game. Now Bama's watching in real time and got the the, the rerun that they can do. They catching these Bama. Hey, yeah. 4K. 4K, bro. We catching the funny business. Uh, follow us at OSS980 at Other Side Store. Share it, though. I'm going to put the locks in the description. Y'all can go straight there. You ain't got to go nowhere. You can just go see the locks there. And you can get with us. You can always donate to the show. We always we take donations, though. Share the content. That's your best contribution. Share the content. Share the show. Subscribe. Rock with us. We out.